Hello boys and girls, it's good to be back with you again. We're here again at Ryman Gardens and we're outside this morning and it's a wonderful fall day. But as we look around, we see lots of changes that are happening in the trees. And another thing that's changing are animals getting ready for winter too. And our story today is about that, how animals, a special animal, in fact in our story, gets ready for winter. And this one's called Summer Coat, Winter Coat. It's the story of a snowshoe hare. Snowshoe hare, brown in her summer coat, hides under a willow. She listens to every sound and sniffs the air for every smell. She looks out at the Alaskan grasslands dotted her with flowers, pumps of grasses, Lichens and mosses have soaked up the cool spring rain. It's nearly summer. Outside the cover of the willow, the sunshine warms the green slopes. A golden plover lays her eggs on a nearby hollow. A wet ear and, and wandering tattler build their summer nests. Beneath the tree is an old grouse wallow. Snowshoe hare waits. She nibbles the buds of the willow, but she is still hungry. Tasty green grasses grow nearby, but snowshoe hare must stay hidden as the afternoon passes. Safety comes with evening. When shadows fall, she leaves the wallow and hurries to find food. Did you notice how her hair, the hairs of her coat are brown and helps her blend into the background? She pauses at the end edge of a thicket. All seems safe, but this is a place of surprises and danger. Snowshoe hair stretches as tall as she can, checking the grasslands for predators. And predators are those other animals that are out looking for a supper and might try to eat her. A golden eagle wheels slowly overhead, looking for its last meal of the day. Snowshoe hair must keep still, not a whisker twitches. The eagle soars away, passing over the far ridge, unaware of snowshoe hair. Finally safe, snowshoe hair pops to the stream and drinks. She grips the bank with her feet, careful not to slip. Any sudden movement might attract predators. Snowshoe hair lopes in easy bounds, three or four feet long. She eats her fill at the berry patches. A tiny shrew skitters past her, hurrying to feast on tasty grubs. During the long evenings of summer, snowshoe hair eats and grows. She will get plump for the long Alaskan winter ahead when winter will, when food will be hard to find. By the end of August, the blueberry leaves are scarlet. The aspens, willows, and alders are a patchwork of gold and bronze. Fewer hours of sunlight cause snowshoe hair's coat to change colors also. As the days shorten, she sheds her brown summer hairs. The heavy white hairs of her undercoat grow thicker. They will protect her from the cold and harsh winds of winter. So she's changing from that brown to, I'm guessing that what color she might change it into? Let's see. By early autumn, Snowshoe's hair has become whiter. By winter, she is all white except for the black tips of her ears. See the black tips of her ears up there. After the first snow falls, snowshoe hair blends into the frozen landscape. She moves carelessly though. Predators will see her if she moves, if she moves carelessly. Uh-oh. One evening, snowshoe hair pokes her nose under the snow to find food. She misses the scent of a nearby lynx, a big cat. 
snowshoe hare looks up and suddenly sees him. He is set to pounce. With an eight foot leap, Snowshoe Hare bounds away. The lynx springs and misses her, but he is not ready to give up the chase. He follows her trail and pounces again. Snowshoe Hare runs in wide circles. She leaps suddenly, changing directions in mid-air. The lynx plows to a stop. Snowshoe Hare has fooled him. She lands behind him, invisible against a snowdrift. She folds her ears low and waits until the hungry cat slinks away. So her white fur helps her blend into that white snow and the lynx can't see her then. Hidden by the shadows of the snow drifts, Snowshoe Hare carefully crosses her frozen world. Her hind feet are large and covered with thick hairs. They look clumsy, but they carry her easily over the snow. Like snowshoes, these big feet pack the snow into steep, into deep trails. You can see her tracks there in the snow now. Stopping to strip the branch tips of a balsam, snowshoe hare cannot rest for long. Suddenly, a great horned owl swoops down. Snowshoe hare beats one hind foot on the packed snow warning other hares of the danger. The hares run in great leaps, crisscrossing each other's paths. The owl dives but misses. Snowshoe hare darts to her resting place as morning dawns. The days lengthen. It's early spring. Snowshoe Hare loses her heavy white coat. Soon she is peppered brown again. One last snowstorm comes as Snowshoe Hare stands out against the whiteness. It will be a few weeks before the snow is gone and she blends with the land again. When the last snow melts, insects begin to buzz. The buds of spring open into the sunshine. One morning in the grouse wallow, Snowshoe Hare gives birth to three babies. They are covered with fine downy brown hair and their eyes are open. Soon they are on their own and another summer of growing begins. And that's the end. So as you are outside, be watching how animals are changing birds perhaps or animals such as squirrels in your neighborhood or rabbits that you might see in your yard are changing to get ready for winter as well as the trees and think about how you and your family get ready for winter too. It's been fun having you with us this morning and hope to see you again here at Ryman Gardens.